Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set an expiration date for your blog posts so that they actually become either not public or deleted altogether after a certain date or a certain amount of time has passed. So the way you wanna do this is actually a plugin for it. If you're logged into your dashboard, head down to plugins, bottom left and click add new. Up the top where you're searching, type in publish press future. And publish press is one word. And we get this publish press future automatically unpublished WordPress posts. So pretty pretty uh, easy. Hit install and then activate. Now once you have that installed and activated, there's a little op option box down the left here called future. You just want to click on that so we can set the plugin up to do what we want it to do. Now, we're not gonna go into great depth, but I will cover uh, most things here. Obviously, you got the format of your date, that you how you want it displayed, the time format, default time slash duration. So the way this works is you can set a default expiration date when creating new posts and pages. So none means you just do it manually. Or uh, post and publish time, uh, I'm actually not 100% sure how that works, but we do custom, we can add in a time here such as one week, two days, four hours, two seconds. So hypothetically, we can grab say this bit of text here, copy it, and let's say we wanna go four weeks, two days, four hours, two minutes, or we can just simply say plus four weeks. So that way it actually assigns when you create a new post or page from the published date, it'll give it four weeks before it actually goes ahead and unpublishes it. For now, I'm gonna put it back to none. And of course, we can choose categories for that default expi expiration. So if you choose that, you can tick a certain category and not others. So that way, if you have a category called you know, temporary posts, you can do that. And of course, down here, we have email notification. If you want to, you can enable it and include all blog administrators or no one and pop an email address in there. So that way, when a post is unpublished or deleted, you get an email notifying you that it has happened. If we go back up the top, and the next tab there is a display, and you just want to sort of go through these options, check them out. Um, this will allow you to, to actually enable if you put a footer at the bottom of the blog post. So that way, if you do have a date set for it, it will actually come up saying, so you see here says post expires at expiration time and expiration date. So you can see basically how that works. It just inserts itself to the bottom of the post, or you can actually go to post types, and we have the same defaults we were looking at before, but this time it's for a post. So we can have it as active, we can set it to a, we can set it to expire to a draft or delete it altogether. So remove it from the website altogether or trash to send it to trash. You've got all these options here you can use so that when the date is hit on a post, it'll do one of those things, either unstick it, make it private, or even category replace. Set, you've got a few different options there uh, to go through. We're just gonna go straight for say draft. So that way anything that goes up becomes a draft so you can come back and edit it later if you want to. And of course, again, we get our notification, you pop an email in there and uh, default time, you can inherit from the general settings or you can set one up again that's custom just for blog posts. And then again, you've got pages, you can do the same thing. And any other custom post types you have, you can go through and set up your default options for those post types and save when you're ready. For now, I'm just gonna leave it at default Diagnostics, if you have any issues, click on that. You can try and run some diagnostics. Not gonna get into that today. Under advanced, of course, if you're using the Gutenberg or the classic editor, you just wanna choose which one of those works best. So if you're using the classic editor, you wanna choose classic. And of course, you can decide who has access to the plugin. So editors, maybe, that sort of thing. So you can go through, set all those up, and then it's pretty simple. I go up here and I add a new post or I edit an existing blog post. I call this one new post to expire. I go to my default editor and I type up my blog post. Now, if I go and click off here, so I've got the post tab or the page tab, if you're editing a page, you'll notice there's a tab here called publish press future. If it's not, head to the little cog icon at the top here. Sorry, to the three dots, I should say. And you can go down to, I think your, not your block manager, sorry. You can go down to, there's some settings here. I'll just zoom out a little bit. Preferences. You've got blocks, you've got panels that you can turn on or off there. That is, of course, under the three dots and then preferences. But for now, we've got it showing up. So let's go zoom in again. We enable post expiration and we just simply set our date. August the 9th, 
2022 at 2.15. And that's it. Down the bottom, we can choose on the choose on the month, or we can even, for this particular post aside, we want to send it straight to trash if we want to do that as well. So that's it under the post tab there. Publish, press future, you have your options there. So when you publish your post, that is when the post will expire and it will no longer be public and uh, you can automatically have it closed down. So that's it, that's the video for today. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Any other questions or things you wanna learn that I might be able to help with, leave a comment below. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to speak to you again soon.